and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Men at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. This looks like the ideal place. Here? In the middle of nowhere? This is hardly a picnic spot. We aren't here for a picnic. We're here to test this invention. Okay, track, stop. Whatever you say, Adam. But I can't imagine a more desolate spot on the whole planet. Which is exactly what we need to test this device. Whatever you say, man at arms. But I still don't like it. Father, will you please explain why we had to come all the way out here? Because it isn't the sort of thing I want to fool around with near the palace. It's a portable teleportation device. Oh, a teleportation device, of course. I should have known. Uh, what is it? <laughs> it could move an object anywhere instantly. For example, you see that boulder? Suppose we need to move it to the top of that mountain. Now watch. Father, that's wonderful! Duncan, you mean this box of yours can transport anything or anyone anywhere? Yeah, what a prize for Skeletor. With that teleporter, he could stage a sneak attack on King Randall or even Castle Grayskull. When the battery's fully charged, it can transport four or five people at once. I, I hope that doesn't apply to sorcerers. Certainly. Care to try it? No, no, I can do that sort of thing myself, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, Orko. After all, anyone can make a mistake. I dare say my device is a little more accurate, Orko. Let's see how it works on a human being. Suppose I needed to get across this canyon. Father, are you sure it's safe? Perfectly. All right, here I go. Now's my chance. There's someone else over there. Father, look out! Trap jaw. Give me the teleporter. Never. Heads up, you two. What a throw. Here it comes. Great catch, Tila. I've lost a teleporter, but maybe I have something more valuable. The man who invented it. Hey, listen, you two. I'll trade your man at arms for that box. Don't listen to him. What do we do? Our only hope is to teleport man at arms out of there. This should send him back to the pass. No deal, Trapjaw. Then you'll never see him again. Well, you won't, that's for sure. What? Uh, no. Now you don't have anything, Trapjaw. But what's to stop him from coming after us for the box? Simple. Attack track. Go get him! And what's out? No! Shall I pursue him further, Adam? Let him.
them go, Track. We've got to get back to the palace and make sure Man at Arms is all right. I just hope I set the controls right. <laughs> Now, where in the world did Tila teleport me to? Must be far away from Trapjaw, that's for sure. Don't be too sure of that, man at arms. With your skill at infect weapons, you'll be worth a hundred teleporters to Skeletor. <laughs> Nice leisurely journey to Snake Mountain. <laughs> it's no use, Tila. No one's heard a word from Man at Arms since we left. Wasn't he wearing a communicator? Oh, I tried contacting him. Nothing. But I was sure I set the teleporter to bring him back here. Oh, Adam, suppose I made a mistake. Suppose he reappeared over the ocean, or in it, or, or in the eternal desert. Suppose he just never reappeared at all. I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, don't you see? I used that teleporter when I wasn't sure how it worked. I'm to blame. It's my fault. Snake Mountain, you're going to be spending a lot of time there working for us. Today I committed a terrible error in judgment. Because of me, we have lost our great teacher, inventor and warrior, and I have lost a father. I made an unforgivable mistake. I am not fit to be captain of the guard. I resign from my post. Tila, you're being much too hard on yourself. I refuse your resignation. Then I have no choice but to exile myself to the wastelands. Tila, no! I'm sorry, but I leave tonight. A solid force field cage. Very clever, Skeletor. That's a high compliment coming from a mind as brilliant as yours. But enough with niceties. Get to work. And how do you intend to make me work? You want to eat, don't you? When you're half starved, believe me, you'll do anything I say. Hmm, good point. I was tinkering on another teleporter. I suppose I could finish it. Splendid! But finish it on paper. I want plans, not finished products. After all, you might try to teleport yourself out of here. You can use that box as a model for the teleporter. When I return, I wish to see it completed. That's what you wish, Bonehead. <laughs> now to find some parts and see what I can do. Tila, you're not really leaving. Yes. I don't deserve to live here anymore. But Tila... Anybody can make a mistake. That is a luxury the captain of the guard just can't afford. We are all human, Tila. Man-at-arms is out there somewhere. I just know he is. Adam, you've been at the communication center all night. You need some rest, my boy. I'm sorry, Father. I was hoping that if Man-at-arms was somewhere out there, he might somehow get a message through. I understand, son. Good night. Uh, good night, Father. Man at arms, where are you? Adam. Hello? Who are you? Come in. Adam, is that you? Man at arms, where are you? At Snake Mountain. Skeletor's got me in his dungeon. I managed to rig a communicator, but I can't talk long. I knew you'd be standing by, Adam. I need your help. I'm on my way. See you soon. But first, I'd better find Tila and tell her. If she doesn't help save her father, she'll never get her self-confidence back. Hey, a man-at-arms teleporter may come in handy. I 
guess this will be my home from now on. Looks like Tila may need some help from He-Man. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull! Got a pretty good grip. How about going for a spin? Thank you for your help, but I don't deserve it. Look, Taylor. Oh, please don't start. I'm sure you've heard what I did, and nothing you can say will make me go back. Oh? And what if I were to say that we heard from Man at Arms? He's all right? He is? If you can call being Skeletor's prisoner, all right. Oh, we've got to rescue him! I had a feeling you'd say that. Tila, may I tell you how pleased I am to hear that your father is all right? Oh, thank you, Trek. Now, let's go and rescue him. I think we'd better go on foot from here. I will be waiting, E-Man. If you need me, just whistle. You did well, Trapjaw. With men-at-arms designing weapons for me, nothing will stop me. Not even He-Man. Perhaps he can even help me perfect this new heat ray. must stop burning my walls like that. Alert! Alert! Unauthorized activity near level one. Oh, that's near man at arm cell. Don't just stand there, fools! Any bright ideas about how to get in, Tila? I was hoping you'd have one. Man at Arms said he was in a dungeon. Now we could either climb all the way up to the top and then climb all the way down to the dungeon, or... I could just punch a hole right here. It'd make a bit of noise, though. Which could be just what we need. Skeletor and his goons are bound to notice us anyway. So when they come running, you create a diversion, and I'll free Man-at-Arms. It still sounds awfully noisy. Yes, but I like it that way. Simple and direct. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Simple and direct, huh? We're inside one of Skeletor's vaults. Relax. I'll have us out of here in no time. I hope. <laughs> now you head up there and do something to get their attention. They should be showing up any time now. Good luck. Seems like a good place to get Skeletor's attention. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to find out. Hmm, that looks promising. <laughs> well, Father always told me not to mess with machines without finding out how they work.
He ran. I knew you'd get through. We've got to hurry. Tila's upstairs creating a diversion, but it may not last long. How do we break this force cage? We can't. The controls aren't even in this room. Well, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Good thing I brought this. The teleporter. Let me see it. Uh oh The battery's low. There's only enough power to teleport two of us out of here. Then it'll be you and Tila. I'll find her. This is more of a diversion than I intended to make. Enough of this! We have you now, Tila! Fire! This'll put the flames out! Bye, guys. So, He-Man is here. This gives me a chance to test my latest invention. Even Man-at-Arms would be hard-pressed to top this. Dela? He-Man, did you find my father? This way. You mean the teleporter can only take two of us back? I'm afraid so. Then you and He-Man go. I'll make it back all right. Don't be foolish. He-Man has a much better chance of getting out on his own. Here you are, Tila. Now, set it. Me? Oh, no. If I hadn't made a mistake with that teleporter yesterday, we wouldn't be in this mess. I don't ever want to touch it again. No, Tila, you must do it. But I failed. Please don't make me do it again. You did not fail. You did what you thought was right. That isn't failure. But I'm afraid. There isn't time for this, Tila. Skeletor must know where we are. He'll be down here any second. And they'll have us and the teleporter. Now set the controls. I can't. Please. Have faith in yourself, Tila. We do. I guess... I guess you're right. That's the spirit, daughter. How do I set it? Well, I designed it to automatically return to the palace in an emergency. Just line up the crosshairs. We did it! What did I tell you? This is the only way to travel. Well, getting out of here should be a breeze. Or did I speak too soon? I have you now, you muscle-bound oaf! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that, Skeletor! And so I shall! My freeze ray will stop you! <laughs> Put that down! So long, Skeletor. Drop me a line if you ever get this thing down from here. Where are you going? Come back! Oh, and uh, watch that first step. It's a Lulu. With you for this, He Man, I promise you that. To celebrate your safe return home and to celebrate Tila's return as captain of the guard, I shall now perform my latest magic trick. I shall change this lump of coal into a diamond ring. By the powers of laughter and mirth, change this coal to a thing of worth. <laughs> well, funny, it worked in a lab. Don't worry, Orko. After all, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Today, Tila made a mistake, but instead of trying to correct it, she ran away. 
That was an even bigger mistake. Making mistakes is part of being human, but punishing yourself or quitting because of it is no way to make things better. The right thing to do is accept your error and try not to make that same mistake again. That's a lot smarter than running away. Until our next exciting adventure, goodbye for now.